everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I will be using these signs to create a beautiful wall sconce. Now these signs are from Dollar Tree and now you guys know that it's a dollar twenty-five cent tree. <laughs> they really do need to change the name. And here's the skew. First thing I want to do is take the covering off because I really just want the frame. I have a knife. If you guys have one of those little things that you use to pull staples up, that's perfect, but I don't have one. So I'm going to use this knife. And if you want to, you can hold on to this for another craft. So now I have this. One side of this is smooth and one side is rough. I'm going to glue both smooth sides up. I have some of the Dollar Tree wood glue. And I'm just going to take a popsicle stick and get some out. And I'm just going to smooth it on here. All right, so now what I want to do is glue these two pieces together. So now I'm going to take some of these clips from Dollar Tree and put them on here. So I'm going to let this completely dry, then come back and move on to the next step. Okay, I'm back, and this should be dry. So yeah, we are good to go. Next up, I have this frame from Dollar Tree. Use this cube. And what I need to do is attach this here. So now I have that completely flat and I need that flat for a reason. And one other thing, I want to glue this here, but this surface is wider than this one. What I'm going to do is glue this and nail this to here. But in order for me to do that, I need to remove the base of this. Pull it off like this. So now I have this groove in here. And I'm actually going to put some nails inside the grooves. You'll see. First, I'm going to put glue here. And that's the Gorilla Glue. You can also use wood glue. Now is line this up and I want this to be in the center. So now I'm going to take some of these really small nails and nail this to the base. I have my hammer. So now I'm going to take a larger nail and put it over these nails. Make sure they're flush. Now if you look inside, you'll see that each one of those nails are flush. And they have really strong grip. So now I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and some wood glue and glue my frame back together. Okay, so this part fell off. If your frame comes apart, then just put some glue where the joints are, where they meet. And then just glue them back together. I'm going to put glue here. Make sure all these lines line up. Now just slide this back in place. And that's going to help hold that where it needs to be. And now I'll just put this piece back on top. Now if you want to, you can add some tape, but you really don't need to, but I'll show you just in case you want to. Now this is what we have. 
and it's actually going to end up being like this. So we're going to allow this to dry, then come back and move on to the next step. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, the glue has dried and this is what I have so far. Now this is going to be the back of my wall sconce. And so what I want to do is go ahead and add, add two of these sawtooth hangers on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now I'm going to take this outside and spray the whole entire thing silver. Once I do that, I'll come back and we can move on to the next step. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I painted the entire frame silver. And I also added some mesh bling under here. Next, I'll repeat this design on the top of it. And I also glued a tower block here for added security. I'll show you the reason I put that there later. Like I said before, I'll be adding bling on the top as well. I'll glue the rest of the bling on off camera and then come back. As you can see, I'm done adding bling to the top. Now I'm going to trim the outside of the frame with mirror tile. Okay, moving right along. Next, I have these chopping mats from Dollar Tree. I'm going to measure and cut a 6 inch strip off the mat. I made sure that the strip was directly in the middle of my frame. Then I use my staple gun to staple the mat on. The staples only went halfway in, so I used a hammer to knock them all the way in. I also stapled on three inch strips on each side of the middle strip. You can also use like some thumbtacks or whatever. Now I'm done with both sides. So now this is what we have. Remember we did put that block right there and I did it for a reason. Next up, I have a Dollar Tree napkin ring. What I'm going to do is glue this to here for extra stability and to here. And of course, I'm going to use a strong glue. I'm using Gorilla Glue. So now I'm going to allow this to set up overnight and let this completely dry. And then I'll come back and finish our wall sky. Okay everyone, I'm back, it's the very next day. And my napkin ring is glued in really, really tight. Again, this is what we have. This is the skeleton of our wall guns. I have this jar that I'm gonna use to prop it. Now, I had a really large roll of bling from totallydazzled.com. I'll leave a link below to where you can purchase some. She has really great prices. I'm gonna measure it and leave the exact measurements in the description below. Well, first I'm gonna cut this rough edge off this side. So what I'm gonna do is glue this directly in the center, starting in the back. And I'm gonna use some of my fix-all glue from Dollar Tree and I also have a popsicle stick. Now I'm only gonna show you this one because the glue is really strong and when I glue the other pieces on, it'll be the same exact way, but I'll be doing it outside on the porch. So now I have this extra strip, same length. I'm gonna measure, cut, and lay this on just like that. 
Once I do that, I'll go outside and do this side as well. Come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. I went outside and did both these sides. And now it's dry. So what I want to do now is, well I'll lift it up so you can see what it looks like. So now what I want to do is come in on this side and drape some down on each side like this. But this time I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of the glue and the glue gun to save some time. So now I'll turn it around and do the other side as well. Let that dry then come back and move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm done adding my bling all the way around. If you look, you'll notice that it's a little bit longer on the sides and I did it that way for a reason. And it's because I want to be able to use this in different ways. So the sides needed to be a little longer. What I want to do now is mix a Mod Podge and silver glitter together and then brush it on the back of this frame. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry. And while this drying, I'm going to add a strip of mirror towel around the front of the frame. Alright, so now I'll put a strip up there. I'm going to let this completely dry, then come back. Okay, so I put another layer of the Mod Podge and glitter on the inside of the frame that I showed you earlier. So while it's drying, I want to go ahead and start on the most tedious part <laughs> of the DIY. And the hardest part is cutting individual strips of bling like this. And be careful. You don't want to cut it in half. You don't want to make a mistake and mess up one of your strips. I get as close as I can with these scissors. And then I use these really small ones to cut right up to where the glue is. Just like that. Oops. And I still have it sitting on this. So you're going to need something to sit the front of it on. Again. Cut another strip. So put on some music. Put on a movie. Sit outside on the porch. That's what I'm going to do. Go outside and enjoy the weather. And cut these into individual strips. So as you can see, I have four individual strips. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do every piece like this, even the pieces on the side. Once that's done, I'll come back and put the finishing touches on our wall guns. Okay, I'm back. And here's what it looks like after I cut all the pieces. This took me about an hour. And like I said, I went outside, I sat on the porch, and I just took my time and cut them. Look at that. Before we finish it off, let you guys see the inside where I put the glitter. I'm going to decorate the inside of the frame with some of these diamonds from Dollar Tree. So now what I want to do is trim my wall scuds with some mirror tiles. So I'm going to add a piece right across here, 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 and on the sides as well. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. And I think the mirror tile is a really nice accent. Here's what it looks like on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and complete this side off camera. Okay guys, finally we are done. And here's what the end result looks like. 
look at that, isn't it pretty? It's really big, so if you have a large space, this is gonna be perfect. So this is what it looks like on the inside. We're gonna put our push lights in here. You can put one or two, I'll show you that in a minute. But on the back, here's where I put the hooks. I'm not gonna use that one. This is on there really good and sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it. It's a really good sturdy piece. Here's the push light. Right there. So the first way is down like this, and like I said, cut everything even. I have it not even because of the way that I'm going to drape it. So in order to drape it, you take one side and you gather it like this. And then you take it and put it right in here. And here's the second look, and I absolutely love it. I think this is my favorite. Now, if I were to do this over, I think I would make my strands a little bit longer. Again, I'll leave the length below so you can determine if you want to make it shorter or longer. And I think I want to make these into lamps as well, so stay tuned. Then you take a rubber band, and I have this elastic, and you just drape it like this. Okay, so then you have this. You can wrap some bling around it if you want to, but it really won't be seen. You can take like a teardrop pendant if you want to, and just hang it on the nail like that, and then take this. Take the back of the rubber band and hook it on the nail. And then just kind of pull it. And that's another look. I'll probably make this hang a little bit longer, but yeah. So this is look number three and I absolutely love it as well. I had some other ideas on what I could do with it, but I had to stop because the video would be way too long. <laughs> okay, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this DIY, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you have a favorite, please comment that below as well. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching.